be some some layer styles to this specific one. Uh, to this layer, I would suggest a gradient. Any gradient would do. Any, any colors would do. Maybe even a pattern. It depends on how you feel you want it to be. I'm going to work with the gradient here. So what I'm going to go with, I'm going to go to black. Actually, no, I'm going to go to black to white gradient. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select reflected, reverse, uncheck align with layer, scale all the way up, and then opacity, turn that down way, way, way down. I'd say to about, uh, I'd say about 12%. And then just kind of move it around so that very, very, very faint white is kind of going through the middle of this. And that gives it a nice effect. Maybe add, maybe turn the opacity up just a bit more to about 15. And that looks great. Now, you might want to add, to for it to add an effect to the video itself, you could add some drop shadow. So I'd turn the distance down to zero. Size up to about 32, and the spread, whoa, actually keep the spread at zero. So the distance at zero, spread at zero, size 32, and the opacity 85%. So now you have that, and it looks pretty good. So it's looking pretty cool right now. I think uh, I think we're almost done. So the last thing you're going to want to do is add some text elements. Now the idea here is, you, know, you if you had looked at the image in the beginning and the layers, you'll notice that I combined them all into one layer by accident. Don't do that. Do not do that. <laughs> you want to keep your text layers separate so you can edit them over time depending on how your video turns out or and that's up to you. You could always keep it the same so you never have to edit it, but people do like to see that you're working hard and you add, you, you pay attention to your videos, you, you do your work. And not to mention, it looks a lot more professional when you do that. So, now I'm putting text here just to kind of symbolize where you should be putting your logo. But I suggest, and if you don't have a logo, then you need to go get one. But if you, I have another tutorial actually on how to make a simple logo, if you want, if you guys want to go check that out, that'd be awesome. But anyways, you're gonna take your logo. So here's my logo. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You wish you had a logo like this. Don't copy it. That is my work right there. So you're gonna take that and just kind of center it. Now you notice you're gonna notice that compared to the rest of this, it, it looks kind of boring and kind of distracts away. It, it takes attention away from the rest of that, and it just sticks out like a sore thumb. So you're gonna definitely want to add some layer styles. So you're gonna double click. You're gonna add a gradient and black to transparent, which should be on your presets, and then just keep it linear. Maybe turn the scale up a bit. Scale to about 134, move that up just a bit, and then add some inner glow, and just keep the default for the inner glow because that looks nice. If you want, you can add some more inner glow depending on how big you made your border, but I would leave it at default because that actually looks pretty good. So now that you have that, you have your layer styles ready for your text. Now the text looks pretty good so far. One thing you're going to want to do is you're probably going to want to add a song. So for example, let's put over here song right there, colon, and make that a little bit smaller so we have room. And just maybe put that up here. And then down here, we're going to put song name dash creator. It is gonna. It's it's my assumption that you guys are gonna be using, you know, music from somebody off of YouTube, and you're gonna need to give them credit. And this is your way of giving them credit. So you can, you're gonna notice that you don't have the same layer style. And why why are you gonna want to put the layer style all over again? It, that's no fun. So just go to your 
your logo layer style that you made and right click on it and copy layer style now just on any other layer that you want that layer to have the same layer style just right click on them and paste layer style it was that easy so now you have your song and your song name creator now remember do not rasterize these do not rasterize the text you want to keep this a text object when you save this as a PSD because we're going to be saving it as a PSD I'll show you how to save it to work in your videos but you do want to remember to save this as a PSD so you can edit this later to change it to whatever so if you had a specific song you would go over here and edit your song and you know blah 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 song derpy song there you go and then you would just change that and the same thing goes for song name and creator now another idea you could do is you could also put over here you could put well what is that you could put type of video and it could be a speed art uh, progression um, whatever but just put that there so you know what you are editing for what so you always have whatever subject the same when you're editing it and you're all done you have a you have a nice clean simple video border now you have to notice the backgrounds there easy fix like I said just go to the very bottom of your layer you should notice a layer there saying background and just untick that uh, that little eye and that indicates layers visibility as it says right there just untick it boom there's the checker box that indicates that it is now transparent wherever those checker boxes are you're, you're all good it actually looks quite nice so in order for this to actually have a transparent background when you untick that the only way that I know of is saving it as a PNG and I believe a GIF I don't really remember but anyways you're gonna want to go to file save for web and devices and select be sure that PNG 24 is selected you don't need to worry about size always use PNG 24 keep the default settings do not change a thing and click save and then save it as whatever you want so I'll save mine as tutorial banner save and then there you go you have your tutorial banner and that is my Skype open and you can check it out here and as you can see it is transparent as the same color as this and if you've ever worked with any editing software it's pretty easy all you have to do is go into your whatever your video editing software is and import it uh, you import it and you place it in the video like I said you should make sure the dimensions are exactly the same so all you have to do is drag it on your video and you're done you don't have to do anything at that point you have your video border just make sure it's at the top of all the layers and you'll be fine but anyway, thanks a lot for watching my video, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, please give a thumbs up and a favorite and a comment. I really, really like that. And subscribe if this helped you guys out. I would love that as well. And uh, be sure to check out my other videos because I've got a ton more stuff coming in. And I'm going to be submitting a lot more content soon. So be looking out for that. Uh, I love you guys. And thanks for 700. Expect something coming up. It's a surprise. Uh, but yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later.